Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and actually welcome to the J1407 solar system as well because today we are going back to the um, planet with the largest rings right here in this custom simulation I made and we are going to actually add these rings to Saturn and we're going to see how large they are from all the planets in the solar system and basically just see how crazy this act this ring system actually is in size because look at this bad boy this is absolutely humongous you can see it from such far away distances this is an absolutely crazy thing here because if we have a look here as well this ring system is almost as large or is very very large we'll get um, Beetlejuice for example it, it, it stands its ground. It's quite large. Like we can um, try against. Uh, let's try uh, Rigel, for instance. Look, the system or the ring system is actually wider than Rigel is. That is just how crazy this is, or this ring system is. So, if you don't know, this um, ring system here is 40% the size of Earth's orbit. That is just how insanely large this ring system is. It's absolutely crazy. So, we're going to go into a solar system simulation here. So, go to my custom one, of course. And also, guys, what I want to think about as well. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers. Cannot thank everyone enough who has subscribed. If you haven't already, consider it. Help us on the journey to 1,000. We are so close. We are 19 subscribers away. So, yeah. Awesome stuff. But, anyways, let's get into this. So, Saturn. Let's go check you out over here. So, we're going to hit play. We're going to slow this down because these rings are very, very large. So, now what we want to do is we're going to go here. Then we're going to go to just, um, yeah, we'll go to Saturn rings. So we want to put this out to AU here and put this to 0 0.4 like that. So we're going to pause the simulation as well. So now if we hit add ring, we should have the rings. Yeah, they're there. All right, so just look at the size of those. That is crazy. So if we um, put it on flashlight mode, we can just see them very nicely there. Do we even need it? Oh, no, we don't actually. So yeah, here are the rings around um, good old Saturn here. So. Yeah, if you thought Saturn's rings were big, then think again, because this is absolutely crazy. So we're going to go ahead and start off on Earth, actually. So, yeah, we won't play the simulation, because it does make it a little slower, but yeah. So we're going to go to Earth here. So, okay, it's over there. Just look how big it is. So we're going to go ahead and land... Okay, let's land in the Pacific Ocean, or Hawaii. Where's Hawaii? Yes, let, yeah, let's land in Hawaii. So we'll go back here. Yeah, we're in Hawaii. Look, check it out. We're almost near Hawaii. So, if we look here, we'll see some clouds. Now if we look up a bit, there you go, look how large those rings are. So you could see it from Earth, no problem, like that is just how like large these rings are. So we'll put it on just star so we can see better. That is absolutely crazy just how large they are. Look at that. That is just crazy. Yeah, I did make a video on the planet with the largest rings um, a long time back now, but yeah, I thought I'd like remake it and just make it a lot better, because obviously I've progressed in my um, video making skills since then, so yeah, I thought I'd give it another try and do another video on this, because it's pretty cool. Well, I didn't actually do the same thing in that video, but I did something similar, so, so yeah, that's that. But yeah, just look how large the rings are, yeah, that is completely crazy, so now we'll go ahead to Mercury, so same sort of view from Mercury here, so... Yeah, still very, very large in the sky there. So if you want a quick view from the north of Mercury here. We've got the sun there looking pretty large. And then we've got Saturn's rings. That is just absolutely awesome. So if we hit play, do we actually see the rings turn? No, it doesn't look like it. So we're just, they are take, they'll just take quite a while to go around Saturn. Because if, if, if you think about it, Saturn's ring, because they are 0 0.4 um, or 40% of the size of Earth's orbit, that means they'll probably take 40% of one Earth year to go around Saturn. So... Yeah, is that right, or am I just being dumb? No, I think that's right. Yeah, if I'm wrong on that, someone tell me. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll take about a similar, or about 40% the time it would take Earth to go around the Sun to get one lap around Saturn there. All right, so from Venus as well, sort of similar view. We'll try Mars. Have a quick look here. I'm interested to see what it looks like from Planet 9, actually. So yeah, all the inner planets are pretty much the same sort of distance. So what about Jupiter? Where's Jupiter? So... We'll put Jupiter at its closest point to where Saturn is right now. So we'll speed up in its orbit a bit. Just put it right here. So now if we look from Jupiter. So we'll just go and add um, one of the moons of Jupiter in. So let's get Io. So we'll get this. And we'll just put it there. All right, now if we look from the surface of Io here. Ooh, that looks bigger actually. So yeah, we'll go north of Io here. Look round. Disable orbits. Oh, that looks bigger. Look how big that is. So we've got Jupiter there. So in the online... I don't know if this is the right distance Jupiter is from Io, but Saturn's rings are probably about 
little bit smaller than Jupiter is in the sky from Io in its current position. So from a moon of Jupiter, Saturn's rings would almost be as large as Jupiter itself. Because if you look at that there, you could probably be able, if that was about two times bigger, it could probably be about the same size as Jupiter is. Like That is just how insanely large these rings are. Like It is just crazy that these even exist. So I believe uh, um, the way the rings formed on the um, J4107, oh, is that how you say it? Oh, is that what it was called? Yeah, but whatever it was called, the planet, I believe they think it could be a disk of, um, like, you know, um, it's kind of hard to explain, but yeah, if you, um, when a new star forms, it has a lot of dust and gas around it, and it makes a giant ring, and then little objects like planets and stuff form in that ring. So there, there's a theory that the rings of the planet are actually like is actually a disc of where um, new objects are forming but it's just so large that it actually like managed to go around the planet or may because i believe the planet's a brown dwarf so it could quite frankly have the material around it so yeah interesting theory that is but if anyone has any other theories on how these rings could have formed because yeah these are this is a real planet um of the simulation we're in when we started yeah this simulation here that is a real planet there so it's completely crazy how large those rings are. But yeah, if anyone knows any other theories on how these rings could have formed, let us know down below. It'd be interesting to see your thoughts on that. So now we'll look from Uranus. So from Uranus, because we're the other side of the sun, the rings won't be too large in the sky. But if we put Uranus at its, or at its closest point to where Saturn is, we should get a little different view here. So I'm going to go all the way around. So like that. How large are the rings from here? So we're looking from behind now. So yeah, look at that. So they're a little smaller than they are from Jupiter because you've got to remember Uranus is further away from Saturn than Jupiter is. If we look here, yeah, it's probably about almost double the size of um, the distance from Jupiter. So yeah, it's not really too visible. It's about a similar size um, to what it was from the inner planets. So we'll do the same with Neptune. We'll also have a look around here. So where's Neptune? The coolest planet. My favourite planet. <laughs> Alright, so... Alright, it's there. Alright, so if we just move it around. Well, I need to put labels back on. Alright, so there it is. So we'll pull it here. And now have a look. And Plut this will probably be a similar look from Pluto, so we won't go to Pluto, but yeah. So we'll have a look around. Yeah, the rings are getting smaller and smaller every single time. Oh, I know what we should try. Let's try and have the rings doing an eclipse. So we're going to have to try and block out all the light from the um, sun here. That could be pretty interesting. So there we go. Is that blocked out or a little bit more? Yeah, look at that! We can't even see the sun anymore! <laughs> That's awesome! Look, can you see the sun there, guys? Look, the sun is right behind the rings, so... In theory, if... if would it happen? But I believe the rings would have gaps in between... Or the little asteroids in the rings would have gaps in between, so light would still go through. But, in theory, this would be... Would you call this an eclipse? Like, if we look here... I wasn't expecting to have an eclipse in this video, but look! That is blocking out the light of the sun! You cannot see the sun at all there. Like, even if we pull it on, um, yeah, flashlight mode, yeah, you can see the rings, realistic mode. No, we can't see the sun, so we actually have an eclipse here, yeah. Would you would you call that an eclipse, guys? Like, yeah, tell me as well. Is this an eclipse? Uh, in, it's, uh, would it? I sort of think it would be, but it's not like a, any eclipse we know of, because obviously the only eclipses we know would be the lunar eclipse, where the Earth goes in front of the moon, putting the moon in darkness, or a solar eclipse, which actually happened yesterday in America, where the moon blocks the sunlight and makes Earth go a little dark. But this would be, this would be some form of solar eclipse, I want to say, because... Or would it be? No, no, I'm pretty sure this would be a solar eclipse, because a lunar eclipse... Well, it's not a moon of Neptune, so it wouldn't be a lunar eclipse. Yeah, tell me what you guys think. This is an interesting thing, actually. Would that be a solar eclipse? Or yeah, It's definitely some sort of eclipse, I'd say. So, yeah, the sun is right there. So, as you can see, it's completely blocked behind those rings if you look over there. So, that's, that's pretty cool, actually. All right, so let's actually travel to... Okay, so we will go to... Let's go to Iris next. Uh, so, yeah, here it is. So, there we go. Where are you? At? There we are. So, we're going to go here. Actually, what about Charlinko here as well? Is this... And uh, that won't be... We won't see anything too different from there than we did from Jupiter or Uranus. So, we're going to move this bad boy. It's my custom Iris as well. It's a nice white colour. So, we're going to um, move it a little bit around like that. So, this is pretty much at its furthest point from the sun. Actually, no, it's not. The furthest point would be about there. Somewhere, somewhere around here, yeah. So, if we... Yeah, there. Uh, I think here. So somewhere around here. 
So it should be in pitch black. Yeah, completely dark here. So if we turn all this off, can we see the rings? So, where's the sun? Sun? Where are you at? Wait, where's the sun? Like, labels. Okay, so there's another dwarf. Where, where's the sun gone? Ah, there we go. So the sun is over there. Can we see Saturn's rings, though? So if we land on the surface here, and we look up. So, we're looking up. Okay, so we can see Saturn, or we can see... No, you can't see the rings. I cannot spot those. We put it on flashlight mode. Can we see it from there? No. Or maybe if you look hard, I'm selecting the rings right now. I think. Oh no, that's Saturn. So you can just about see the dot of Saturn when I select it there. But you cannot see the rings. So even at this distance here, you cannot see the rings of Saturn. So what if we put it at its closest point to the sun? Can we see it from there? Because remember, this is further away than um, Pluto and Neptune are at their furthest points as well. So, what about from here? Can we see it from here? Oh, I think we can. Wait, if we go off. Yeah, you can. So, if we um, go here. It's very dark here, actually. So, yeah, probably wouldn't be very warm here at all. Yeah, minus 243. So, yeah, definitely not a nice place to stay. So, there's the sun. So, let's just put it back on. We'll put it on that. All right, looking good. Now, look how I've moved them all. They've all just teleported across like that in those straight lines. So, Saturn is there. So if we turn that off and look carefully, you can see the rings there. They're quite dark, but in flashlight mode, you can't even see them. That makes no sense. Studio? Okay, realistic then. So that's weird. You can't see them in flashlight. But yeah, there's the rings right in that. Wait, right there. Yeah, you can see them there. There are the rings. So looking good. All right, so let's um, go back to flashlight just so we can see everything. Let's zoom out of um, the Iris um, area. Now, where else can we go? Okay, yeah, I want to try it from Sedna. Can we see it from Sedna? And let's actually move Sedna to the other side of the sun, so the sunlight is facing the ring, so we might be able to see it a little easier. So, oh, wrong way. Okay, we'll do a full lap around here. So, let's reverse it a bit. Oh, my God, that moves fast. Okay, so here. Let's try it here. So, yeah, we'll be completely dark at um, Sedna here, yeah, as we can see. So, if we look at the sun now... Actually, we'll just keep orbits on, so just so we can see everything. So, if we turn that off... Can we see the rings? So, okay, let's just go on. Um, wait, one more. Why can't turn that off? All right. So we're gonna land about here. Have a little look around. So if we have orbits on, you can see them. But if we have them off, it doesn't look like we can. So what about flashlight mode from here? No, we can't see it. Is there anything there? orbits so you can see them there you can see the shadow of them on the orbit of saturn but it doesn't look like we can see them from sedna unfortunately so if we just quickly head to saturn here so yeah there are the rings we've got on flash up mode you can see them completely clear there so if we just zoom out they should just faintly disappear so where's sedna okay sedna's here so if we have that off a little realistic as well so you can't see them so they're there we zoom out more and more and more and they just fade into darkness it's just too dark so if we zoom all the way out to where Sedna is which is right about here yeah we can't see them so it's just too dark it's just too far away poor, poor Sedna doesn't get any good look we can only see him because of the shadow like it's making a shadow on the orbit of Saturn that yellow line there what if we put Sedna at its closest point to the Sun so let's pull it right there so can we see him from here? No, we can't from here either. No. Wait, did I already go here? Wait, or is that just me? I don't know. <laughs> so the rings are there. So Saturn is there. So can we see it from... Okay, so if we put it on flashlight mode, we can see them from Sedna here. So this is my custom Sedna as well. What do you guys think? Slightly different one it used to look like, but still the same underneath, I guess. Nice red, dark red surface. Yeah, I don't like the... um. The regular said there it spawns, so I made my own, which is pretty cool. Alright, where is it? So, Saturn is there, so... So we can't see it from the surface, but if we look normally... We can see them, so if you're on the surface, you can't see it for some reason? Okay, that's weird. But yeah, there are the rings. So, Sedna, from its closest point, can see the rings of Saturn. Or, or the giant rings of Saturn there. So that's pretty interesting. And then, Planet Nine... Is it even worth trying? <laughs> Like, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go, but I don't think we're going to get anywhere with this, so we'll put Planet on at its closest point to the sun, which is completely in darkness, as we can see right here. So if we look round, turn that off. Okay, yeah, we, we can't see anything. Saturn, I can't even see Saturn on the list of planets. 
Where, where is it? So just turn around and zoom out. Sam so, um, Saturn, where are you at? Uh, so you're there. Wait, no, I selected a ring of Saturn. Okay, there's Saturn. So if we look round, so it's somewhere there. There it is. It's right. You see that little dot there? That little circle with the ring. You can see the orbit of Saturn. Yeah, we're we're not seeing the rings of Saturn from here. We can put it on flashlight mode just to try. Can we um, quickly move out of the view of Planet Nine? Turn the that off. Okay, so in flashlight mode, you can just about see him. So, could that mean if the sun was brighter, could we see the rings? I reckon if the sun was a lot more luminous, we may be able to see them from Planet Nine since they are receiving more, more light, which means they're reflecting more light, which means we should be able to spot them easier from Planet Nine. So, that would be pretty interesting, actually. So, yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and try that. So, let's put the luminosity of the sun up to 100 times brighter than it is. So, let's put it up to 100 suns, making, it, just making the sun a little bigger, but that's fine. So we've got 100 suns. Now if we go back to planet 9, we'll put it back on realistic mode. Can we see the rings? So if we look here... Oh, oh, we can! Look, I think I can just about see them from there. I don't know if you can... I don't think you can see my mouse, but if you look around in that white circle there, you can just see in the middle, there is rings there. So, yeah, that proves the theory that if the sun was brighter, we could see the rings from pretty much anywhere in the solar system. So that's pretty interesting. So if we go back to orbits here... Hmm. So we can't... Let's put, let's put it at its furthest point. Let's see that. So now if we have a look... If we can see them here, I'll actually be impressed. No way. Is that the mare? Oh, we can! Yeah, you can! Look, you can see them in the shadow of the sun's light there. You can see those rings. You can see them right there. Yeah, if you look just to the left of the sun there, you can see a black dot. That is the rings. So, that's pretty cool. I, I didn't think that would work. So, yeah, theory proved. If you um, had a planet of very, very large rings and a very, very bright star, you'd pretty much see the rings from anywhere in the solar system. So, yeah, there we go. But now we're going to hit play and let's see what would happen if these rings were on Saturn here. So, let's speed this up. Can we even... Look how quick the rings here are spinning. That is crazy. And then the one's really far out. Yeah, they're taking their time. Well, if you speed this up... Wow, that's crazy. Look at that. It's like a, it's like a galaxy almost. <laughs> that's pretty cool there. But we should start to see the rings eventually bend in length, like they'll start to change because the sun's gravity will start pulling them away from Saturn there. Oh, the inner planets are getting roasted. Whoops. Sorry, inner planets. Yeah, they're, they're probably not doing too well now. Yeah, the sun's roasting them up a bit. Poor old Earth. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so Saturn, how are you doing? Yes, yeah, so look, as we can see, the rings are starting to stretch out as the sun's gravity is pulling them away from Saturn here. So the rings closer which probably would be fine. But as we can see further away, that's not a circle anymore. That's an oval shape. So if we com completely speed us up more and more, these rings aren't going to work around Saturn because the sun is just it's just too close to the sun. Because in the J4107 system, is that, I can't remember what it's called. Ooh, let's quickly check just to correct myself. So it's called J... Yeah, J1407b, in that system, the, the planet is further away from the star, I believe, so the star has less effect on the rings than the sun would from Saturn here, so, yeah, that's not good, because remember, the sun still has one massive, oh, okay, it has 1.3 massive sun, but still, it's still relatively similar to what it originally had, so even if we had the regular sun's mass of just one sun, it would still do this, so, as we can see, the, the rings close to Saturn, they're fine, it's just the ones further away have been split apart because, the, look, they're starting to orbit the sun now because the sun's gravity is just so much stronger than Saturn is from this distance because, obviously, if it's closer to Saturn, Saturn's gravity is stronger. But if it's further away from Saturn, obviously, the sun's gravity will start to take over and pull them away. So, yeah, there we go. So, hopefully, you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button, leave a... No, subscribe, leave a like. I'm still bad at my outros. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm just awful with outros. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know what you you know what you got to do. So leave a like, subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 1,000 because we are so close. So yeah, like I said at the start of the video, many, many thanks to everyone who subscribed, left a like, comment. You're awesome. But yeah, there we go. So make sure you all have a good day. Make sure you never try this because, yeah, Saturn's rings, or like these giant rings, won't last, as we can see here. So yeah, make sure we have a good day. See you in the next video. Goodbye.